Hello everyone and welcome to Accounting Tax SOS, where we cover everything accounting and tax. My name is Christopher Cox, and in this video, we are going to be covering one of my favorite topics, and that is the time value of money. If you guys recall from my last accounting video, we discussed notes receivables and we computed um, the rate used to discount a non-interest bearing note. That was a little bit of an intro to the time value of money. Uh, and in this video, we're going to go more in depth and discuss more about the topic. And we're going to compute uh, a couple different scenarios. So let's go ahead and get started. So number one is pretty straightforward. It says pay $1,050,000 uh, in cash immediately. So for number one, we're just going to write $1,050,000. $50,000 there. And I mean, that's all we do because there's no no present future value of money there. So number two, pay $441,000 immediately. And then the remainder in 10 annual installments of $92,000. So what we're going to do with this one, this is one where we get into the um, time value of money. So we're going to go ahead and write what we know. We have $441,000. We pay immediately. And then 10 annual installments of $92,000. And the interest rate, um, I forgot to leave this in the question. Um, so interest is at 10% for all scenarios. So we're going to do at 10%. Sorry about my handwriting guys. It is getting progressively worse the more I write. That is why I um, typed out the scenario up there up top. So right now we are going to do, uh, this is called the present value of ordinary annuity of $1. $1. Okay. So the formula for this one um, compared to uh, the other ones, it is pretty simple. So it is 1 minus 1 plus R negative N all over R. So R equals the rate and N is the time period. So R equals 10% and then N equals uh, the 10 years right here 10 annual installments 10 years okay so let's go ahead and put these uh, values in here actually so 1 minus 1 plus 10 percent we're going to reduce that down to its decimal so 0.10 parentheses negative uh, 10 and point um, one zero, and you should get um, 6.144457 uh, for uh, the answer there. But then what you got to do is you have to take the 441,000 and then you're going to add the $92,000 to it. Then you're going to multiply that by the 6.14457. And you will get an answer of one million six thousand 
a million six thousand and three hundred dollars so right now our options are to pay one one million fifty dollars right now to one million uh, get another zero in there six dollars uh, sorry six thousand one million six thousand uh, dollars in scenario two and then let's go on to scenario three okay so scenario three um, that is make ten annual installments of one hundred and fifty four thousand dollars with the first payment due immediately so we are going to, first thing we're going to do, this is the present value of an annuity due. Of annuity due. And this equation is pretty overwhelming. Um, that's why, guys, there are PVA, um, PVAD and PV tables that you can search. You just search for PVA, PVAD tables, and they'll show up. And um, these rates and the years and all that stuff is already done for you. You just have to um, you just have to kind of mix and match the numbers. It'll it'll have numbers here and then numbers here along the lines, and you just you just go there and then go there. And you'll find the rate. That's how we found this rate right here. Um, so I haven't looked at one in a while, but maybe the the years like one year, two year, three years is down on on uh, on this line. And then you just find maybe if you want to match up year ten, so year ten, and then um, you have um, you have your rate maybe ten percent. So you have 5% here and then 10% here. You just go and match those up and then you find you find your percent, which which is it's pretty it's pretty uh, simple compared to uh, doing one of these um, equations. And I'll go ahead and show you that real quick. So you're going to start with your annual installments of $154,000. And it gets pretty complicated, but you're going to open up a set of brackets uh, with some parentheses as well. And you'll have one minus parentheses, one divided by parentheses, one plus your rate, which is 0 0.01, 10%. Um, then you close your parentheses, and then you have um, your your right there again at 10 percent and then you will close that again and divide one more time um, by your your annual rate which is 10 percent and then you'll close your brackets close your parentheses and then you will multiply that by one plus um, point one zero your rate and then you will close up your parentheses and that is the PVAD equation. So after doing this whole equation, if you did it, you would get six point seven five nine zero two. Okay, and what do you do with that? All you do is you take one hundred and fifty four thousand multiply that by 6.75902 and what you get is 1,040,889 dollars okay and that's all you do for that one um, I don't want to undermine this whole equation here because it looks pretty tough. Um, so that's why they have those tables. So you don't have to compute 
um, a big long equation like that. Um, so next we're going to move on to number four, but before I do that, I'm going to write here. Um, we have this one. So scenario number three. It is one million zero forty. One million forty thousand dollars. So so far, this one is the least we have to pay. Uh, the most advantageous, uh, the one that makes the most sense. So let me go ahead and erase uh, some of this other stuff so I can have a little room to write. Okay, I think I can fit it down there at the bottom. So let's go ahead and try. Moving on to number four, the last question, last scenario. Okay, so $1,710,000 paid in one lump sum five years from today. Uh, the time value of money equation for that one is future value, which is 1710000 future value times brackets one, divided by parentheses, one minus I, which is your interest rate, okay, to the power of N, which is your time, your time period. Okay, so with our values and our scenario, it looks a little different. So you have $1,710,000 then you're going to multiply that by 1 divided by 1 minus 0 0.10 cuz that is our rate 10% across the board close parentheses to the power of 5 which is the time period 5 years from now after you do that you get a value of Point six two zero nine two, and all you do, guys, is basically you're discounting um, this one million seven hundred ten thousand. So you have one million seven ten thousand. You're gonna multiply these two together, and you will get. A product of one million sixty one thousand sixty one thousand seven hundred and seventy three okay so that is your final answer for question four scenario four so I'm gonna go up here write four one million zero sixty one seven seven three okay guys so in this scenario you want to pick um, you want to pick the least you will have to pay that is going to be one million six thousand dollars this is your winner here uh, it'd be most advantageous for um, this company to pick this payment method and to refresh your mind, payment method two is pay $441,000 immediately and the remainder in 10 annual installments of $92,000 with the first installment in the first year, within year one. So that is how you do time value of money. Um, this might be a long video, but that's just because I had to write a bunch of stuff out uh, it's really not that difficult. Like I said, um, like I mentioned in those tables, you can use those um, to find uh, the, the amount of per, um, interest you should apply to your payment method. Um, so that makes it a lot easier. Um, so I hope you guys learned a lot from this video. Um, maybe you understand why I enjoy time value of money. Um, so 
Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will catch you in my next video. See you guys.